Hi, my name is Mike Bagliato. I'm the Director of Product Marketing at Airtight Networks. And with me today is Dr. Hamant Chaskar. Hey, Mike. Hello. Hamant is our <coughs> Director of Technology here at Airtight. And our topic today is why wireless vulnerabilities cannot be detected accurately by the traditional wired vulnerability scanning tools. I'd like to have our conversation today sort of center around PCI for just, just a few minutes. In the context of PCI, the Security Standards Council requires quarterly vulnerability scans in order to detect the presence of wireless threats such as rogue access points. Some customers today will use their wired scanning tools in an effort to detect these wireless threats. But what I'd like you to talk to us about today, Hamant, is why these wired techniques to detect wireless threats just frankly doesn't work. That, that's a great question, Mike, and many people might think that I can do the wireless vulnerability scanning assessment detection from wired side only, and that really does not work. Okay, so the really fundamental thing you mentioned the rogue APs and PCIs. So let's look at what is the true way or a fundamental way to detect rogue APs on your network, right? And a fundamental way really is that you look at the traffic on your wired side, you look at the traffic on the wireless side and then try to do the matching to detect if some device on your network is actually transferring this traffic between the two media right so you need a wire side visibility and you need wireless side visibility so that's the true way to detect rogue access points when you talk about wired only tools it's like you are missing one eye right you are just looking at the wired side and hence you cannot do any pattern matching so these tools kind of fall back to some kind of signature detection. They try to access all the devices on your wired network and try to fingerprint them. Now how these fingerprints look like? They could be their MAC address, they could be how they respond to some packets sent to them, some requests sent to them like SNMP, HTTP. That's how they try to do it. But the problem really is that with the proliferation of devices, it is practically impossible to create a signature database of firmware, software, MAC addresses, which can actually tell you that some device you are detecting on the wired side is a rogue. That's the first problem and very practical real problem. Even if I give the credit that you have perfect signature database, which is impractical, but suppose you have it. Nonetheless, there are many configurations of these rogue access points, okay, even the most simple configurations, basically take the, take the AP out of the box and put it on the network. I am not talking about any complicated configurations. There are some configurations which are fundamentally at an IP layer unreachable for these wide side scanning servers. Now if you cannot reach a device on a network, you cannot fingerprint it, right? So give me an example of one of those instances where that IP address is not reachable. A very a good example I have seen yeah. often is you buy a wireless router from a market, okay? And as you know, there are there's a WAN port on it and there are LAN ports. Too. Typically, there are four LAN ports, okay? If a user plugs that router in your network into the one of the LAN ports, not the WAN port, then actually what you encounter is a situation where the IP address of this LAN port is not consistent with the subnet where it is put on. Hence, no. it is not reachable from there. But it is a perfect bridge, wired wireless bridge between your wired and wireless networks because the bridging does not require IP layer forwarding. And this is a case, right? There are many cases like that. But this is a simple case where this system will fail even First of all, you have to have a perfect signature database. Mm -hmm. And then I am talking about reachability. Right. And even after that, still there are cases which are not detectable. And a great example would be soft access points. This would be, a, this would be an access point where someone plugged a Wi-Fi card on a USB exactly. into an authorized laptop. And, and bridge that connection. And created a bridge. Now you look from the wired side, what do you see? You see laptop's Ethernet connection. As it is, it looks like normal, right? And this laptop is actually a rogue access point on your network. So you, it cannot fundamentally be detected by wired side only techniques. And hence only the right way, right? Which kind of transcends all these configurations, all these signatures, 
right all these soft ap configurations is the right way which is to look at the wired traffic look at the wireless traffic detect the match and see who is forwarding that traffic that's how devices like this the sensor devices from airtight's network they do they do correlation between wired and wireless side now you ask me a very good question that why is it not sufficient but there is one angle that is often missed here and that angle is ongoing management that when the wired side devices are not able to detect with 100% probability that this is a rogue ap then what they do is they raise volume of alerts they say this is a rogue ap with probability 70% and that is a rogue ap with probability 50% so you as a network administrator has to figure out what 50% means and what 60% means that's a very difficult task now hierarchically so speaking from the management point of view um, even if a wired tool were to scan the network and find something would would you know where it was located in the building would you know where to physically remove that device i mean could you pinpoint that <coughs> device uh, in some cases yes that if you are if you are get exact signature match on let's say a mac address right then you can at least tell that it is plugged into some switch port and then you can tell but in several of those undetectable cases uh, if they are not detected you cannot tell where it is uh, so it's not always possible to locate it but with devices like these which have wireless visibility you can always detect every rogue and always locate every rogue on the physical premises so there is no probability here right it's proof it's detection on yeah or it's not yeah and then it tells you only when it is on it doesn't tell you with what probability it is on it is either on or it is off now a key component of pci obviously is scanning for the wireless rogue access points and the other wireless threats and there's really only two ways that have been approved one is to do your walk around scan and one is to use a wireless ips system to handle that and i think this is part of this conversation today is to explain why it's so imperative to not shortcut this step exactly. in detecting these wireless vulnerabilities yeah and even in later the pci says that's wireless scan it doesn't say scan right so right. it's not only letter of pci but it's also spirit of pci that requires your system to have visibility on wired and wireless side. Great. For more information on airtight networks and how we detect rogue access points and more information on how our solutions actually help you satisfy PCI compliance and protect your network from wireless threats, visit us at www.airtightnetworks.com. Thank you. Thanks Mike. Thank you.